flight school. My name is Jackson, with a J. <laughs> and I'll be your instructor. First things first. Let's see if we can get you into the air without killing yourself or someone else. We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed and pull back on the stick to take off. Congratulations, pilot. You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar and we can move on to the next lesson. That was a good start. Well done. I'm gonna have you attempt a safe landing on the runway. You won't have many chances to get this wrong, so please, follow my instructions very closely. Start reducing the plane's altitude gradually so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy the landing gear before you reach the runway. Start to decelerate while you're still in the air, but be careful not to stall the engine. Executed like a pro! Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area and come to a complete stop. That was an excellent landing. Very well done. You're going to be performing a couple of different stunts. We'll start you out with a few barrel rolls. And if that goes well, you can take a crack at flying upside down. This 
next lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later lessons. obstacle course is designed to teach you how to get better control over your turns. The course goes around the harbor and you have to stay low to make the checkpoints. You'll need to use your rudders to help you make some of the sharp turns.
In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to perform an emergency landing. Remember to begin decelerating while you are still airborne for a smoother touchdown. Then, once you're on the ground, the brakes should bring you to a full stop very quickly. loop can be a little disoriented, so we'll see how you do under pressure. Make sure you start this stunt from a completely level position. It's also important to remember to pull your stick back as straight as you can so you don't get thrown into a spiral. in the plane, we're going to put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. And sign the waiver. Nicely done! The bridge didn't seem to slow you down at all! 
Good job! Looking solid! lesson, but with a real emphasis on speed this time. Finish the obstacle course around the city before the timer runs out, and try not to crash. At the end of the course, you'll be required to safely land your helicopter.
Bring the helicopter down gently onto the helipad. you how to fly a helicopter. Now you're gonna learn how to jump out of one. Aim for the landing target and pull your chute when you get close to the ground. The parachute is difficult to control, so slow your approach and give yourself extra time to correct. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. Aim for the target and deploy your parachute when you start getting close to the ground. will involve skydiving onto a moving target. So I hope you brought a change of underwear. <laughs> the target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully and pay attention to the route. It may take several tries, but once you get this down, you'll be terrorizing drivers all over Los Santos. The drop zone is on the back of a moving truck. So take your time maneuvering with your parachute. It's better to pull your chute early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed. Your final lesson is going to come
find extremely dangerous stunts with highly populated city areas in an assault course that will put everything you've learned during your time at flight school to the test. For your sake, I hope you've been practicing knifing and flying upside down. Look easy! Brings a tear to my eye to see how far you've come! <laughs> 